Hello there, only one can over here, only one. I don't want to show you the figures I've selected, so I'm just going to pan the camera this way. But I want to get on with it straight away. My choices for last figure standing, I just want to tell you that I haven't watched my video from last year. I wanted to just go in, go into this and use my gut. I'm sure a lot of you will guess that I want to choose this guy first, the Attack Driver. So when I first founded my channel back in 2017, it was only because I wanted to talk about what I think should be in the Vintage Collection when they said the Vintage Collection was going to return and in the first 20 videos I talked about uh, those characters I talked about they have been done like things like the Emperor, um, Blue Sky Card, Boba Fett, uh, Lobot, Leia Bush, all those things but this guy still hasn't been done and this is the best figure to date that we've had for him the 5 POA attack driver from the Rebels line a brilliant figure if they could articulate a figure as good as this and put it on that classic card back it's all about card backs isn't it as well for TVC not just an opportunity to get a really good figure, but to have a beautiful card back for it. So I'd say that would be my first choice. As for my other choices, choices I don't know if I necessarily got these in order, but let's just let's just go with it. I'm going to jump on this C3PO bandwagon because this one is totally justified. This is the last figure of the first twelve to not be done yet. They still haven't given us a C3PO on a New Hope card back. And it's amazing that we've, we've they've done them all. I mean, I know we've not had Luke yet, we've not had the Han yet, we've had the Leia, but 3PO is still missing. And it still irks me to this day, man, that they've given us multiple 3PO's, including a reissue on the goddamn Empire Strikes Back badge card back. What? It's so annoying. It's an alternative card back from back in the day that, you know, to have it an alt card back, should we say be it it's in a new hope image on an empire strikes back car back plus also the most important thing is that figure we talked about it on a live stream the other night it's it's no good no more man it's it's i'll just leave it there man you know the deal with that 3po and it needs to change so that's that so that's a beautiful figure that one by the way that's the saga collection endor deity you know the chair when he sat in the chair Let's do another one. Uh, speaking of droids, let's get this guy on. I would, well here, I'll show you this other one as well. 2-1-B, a really important one. That's another classic card back I want to see back in the modern era, the 2-1-B card. And um, this figure here is Power of the, sorry, I'm on a zoom to focus here. Power of the Force 2 figure that. I do believe the same mold was also put into the vintage collection in the special action figure set, I believe. And the reason I've got this 2-1-B is because I not long ago opened this. It's a really good figure. It's the Revenge of the Sith version of him. He's still called 2-1-B though. Let me prove it to you. See? So his name hasn't... He's not like 2-1-C or something like that. He's 2-1-B still. But it's a different droid in the respect of the eyes. But this figure, when I first opened it, it blew me away. I thought, wow, that's the scaling that you'd expect for an upgrade to this original mold. And it's sleeker... Better articulation. I could imagine them doing a really good 2-1-B looking like that. Oh, if it was in focus. But alas, it would be on the classic Kenner card back. Um, now let's talk about some modern era figures or characters. This is Anakin Skywalker. I, I have to mention this again. This is my favorite figure of him, actually, the concept art Anakin. This is a custom, I've put a soft goods robe on him. But for me, that head there of that figure is just an absolute 100%. It's just, they've nailed Hayden Christensen with this head sculpt. And this is the only time you could get that head. Then they've made multiple other Haydens that were just, you know, from Mr. Mullet here. You know, I've done comparison videos in the past to this thing here, which is just such a clunky, clumsy figure, terrible articulation. To another figure which was great from the Vintage Collection, this guy, Mr. Metal, Ma Metal Band, whatever he is, grungy dude, whatever. I love this figure, I like the eyes, I like the, it's just, but his head is massive and, and that's just him as crazy Anakin, whatever. What you want is a standard, mature Jedi Knight Anakin, which is what you saw in Revenge of the Sith. Yes, he turns to the dark side and stuff, but still, look at that head, that's, that's it. I like this figure as well, because when his head's down he looks angry. Head up, calm, angry, calm, angry. Just like my good friend, Volcanics Playground, God rest his soul, used to always talk about. But there you go. We need a really good overall Hayden from Revenge of the Sith. And what about Obi-Wan? Well, I thought about this 
I could easily vote for an episode three one. But the one figure of Obi-Wan that I think needs to be done is this figure here. The episode one one needs critical attention. And why have I got him facing that way? Why am I facing him that way? Because that's the way I have him on my shelf. This is the one figure of Obi-Wan that I don't, I, I dislike so much in the face that I actually have him looking away. I've actually got a battle droid on my shelf and him facing a battle droid like that. Because the head is, is nothing, look at it, it's just nothing like Ewan McGregor that. I don't know what they were thinking. The figures from 1999 were better than that. So everyone has been talking about Obi-Wan and, 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 and Anakin, but it seems a bit random me picking him. Really, I should be picking episode three to go with the episode three of him, but nah, man, I'm happy with my episode three Obi-Wans. Let me show you a decent one. I don't know, man. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I think that looks, <laughs> that, that, they nailed that back in 2005. I'm happy with that. That's, that's Ewan McGregor, but that ain't Ewan McGregor. I don't know who it is. It could be him when he was 10 years old. No idea. So get rid of him. So that is another choice. Again, these aren't really in order. Uh, I just picked them off the shelf. Let's have a look at this guy. Darth Malik. Now, I chose this one. This was inspired by, I think it was, was it Chris from Banther School? Somebody chose Malik. And I thought, Do you know what? Wow. Yeah, I agree. Since we've got the new Revan, right? He does need his counterpart. And of the two figures from the 30th anniversary... This was the worst one. The Revan had ball jointed elbows, shoulders, bloody blah, blah. This guy has got that god awful swivel. Look at that swivel elbows. That's just unforgivable. Um, I don't know too much about Malik other than he's in Knights of the Old Republic. But you know, if you've got one, you've got to have the other. It would be nice to have Master and Apprentice. And I dare say he's a clumsy figure. Next, Crix Maydeen. Speaking of my first ever figures on my, my channel going back to 2017. This guy was in my top 20 of needed to be done, or my first 20 videos. Crix Maydeen, I wouldn't have voted for him or put him as a priority a while back, but the thing is, even though they said they were going to finish the 96, they never gave you a timescale on that. My figure collection when I was a kid, he was one of the figures I had, and I, for that reason, there's a nostalgic tie with him. Um, and it would be nice to see him brought out definitively. This isn't a bad figure, actually on the classic Return of the Jedi card back, you know, you need people like him done. Um, I do have some honorable mentions actually, of which I will talk about her in a minute because I'd really love to vote for her, but I can't. Next choice, let's see what I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Choice number eight, I'm gonna have to definitely choose this. This is not who I wanna choose, by the way. That is, that is Lax Sibrak, that is. Ariel Schuss, I'm going to put him on my list. I'm going to bang that drum. That figure was beautiful. We saw it as part of the artwork for the cantina. The, that was the figure, the one figure out of all of them, even the tonicers that I wanted badly. It looked so good, sat in the cantina booth with a drink in his hand. Sadly, we didn't make, meet that target of 17,000. I think we could have and should have done it if they'd given us more time. And if they, you know, as we discussed the other night on the live stream, if the SDCC had overlapped with the, the time. I mean, I think it was shown the cantina at the SDCC, but the voting had finished for the cantina. Not voting, you know what I mean? The, the backing period had finished. So I think that it had there been a bit more time and more publicity like that, we would have met the target. But still, standing in for Ariel Schuss, is it Ariel or Ariel? I don't know, whatever. Is Lax Zibrak is just my representation. Speaking of representation, number nine is Exar Kuhn. This is not Exar Kuhn. Forgotten his name as well. R Ron Kota. Ron Kota. Yeah. Like, so, oh, yay, yay. From Force Unleashed. The figure that they made for XR Kun. I think it was a comic pack figure. I'd love it. I really would like that figure. But um, I dare say even that now needs an update. But there's something about XR Kun as a, as a Sith Lord with his double bladed blue lightsaber and his immense Sith dark force powers. I would love a figure of him. All you need to do, Hasbro, is, God damn it, get your act together. Give us a comic pack or comic legends line or something like that. Give us characters like that because I ain't paying 500 or 1,000 bloody dollars, pounds, whatever for a, a piece of plastic. No chance. So sort it out. I, I'm not paying stupid secondary hand prices for a, a character I really want. And my last choice, oh God, this is difficult. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for my last choice. 
I'm going to show you the four figures I have remaining. Three of them are going to be honourable mentions. Do you want me to tell you who it was I really chose? I was um, sat on the toilet before, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry to be graphic, but that's where I made my choice. And uh, as I say, I didn't want to look at my video from last year. I wanted to just go into this uh, blind and go with the gut. But then I went and came in here to find the figures and I saw loads of other characters that I wanted to have. For example, when I was looking for Crix Maydeen, I saw her and I thought, oh God, how can I leave her out? Because I do want her badly. But I think that, you know, a bit of patience, she'll come. They've already made a car back in the retro collection for her. I'm hoping they'll make one for Andor and then we'll get her for Return of the Jedi, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I always wanted an A-Wing pilot badly because you have um, Kian Farlander for the B-Wing pilot. I've got loads of A-Wing pilots with the green outfits, but here's my... One of my favourites, um, Taito Selchu, because he is the equivalent, I think, of Kian Farlander. He's an expanded universe pilot. And I always wanted a sort of unknown EU expanded universe style pilots to be on the vehicle card back for the TVC. So that's that. That's an, that's my honourable, but it's not a massive thing. It's not going to keep me up at night if they don't make him. So here's what I chose. I chose Luke Bespin. And I actually think, oh, I don't know, I think I might stick with him. And I'll tell you why in a minute. One figure I've always wanted has been Dash Rendar. Um, and look at him. That's, an, that's all we have for Dash. And it's that definitely he was in that window of time when he suffered from the steroids abuse. Um, but at least we got a figure for him. Yeah. I don't know. A gaming greats, it could happen for him. He could come back. If they're making, what's he called now? Prince Gizor. I can find him and show you. They're making him in the Black Series. You know, God damn it, make him in three and three quarter inch and then bring him along for the ride. You know what I mean? But I think for now, the one thing I really think is more important in my life is this whole thing of Luke. I know they, there's a few complaints about the Tatooine Luke. There was a few complaints, but um, it, I, I was happy enough. I was happy. But one figure that is now declining, in my, in my opinion... Because we've got all these other good figures of Luke. The pilot Luke's really good. The Jedi Luke. I don't think there's a really, really standout Bespin Luke anymore. And this is the best we have. And I'm not I'm not digging it. I've never liked this figure. It's so wide are the hips. It's just bad, man. And here's the other reason I want it. That card back. That would be Hasbro's chance to give us the alternative card back. They could do there's a couple of alternatives, but my favourite would be peeping. Or is it looking? There's peeping, looking, and pointing with the gun, isn't that? I don't know, I don't know. Um, that would be the best one. It'd be beautiful, that card back. Um, but would, oh man, if they did give us another best spin, Luke, and they didn't give us an alternative card back, I would be very upset. So I think I'm going to settle with Luke, man. Because Luke is still not even there for this new farm boy. I'm hoping they're even going to tweak him. I really do hope they sort that one too, because it was better than the Black Series one, I thought. I thought he looked like Lloyd Christmas. A few, a few other people thought that too. If you watched Tim from Bosk's Bounty's live stream the other night. But yeah, man. So that is my um, 10. I go through them one point at the final time. I'll get these people out. I'm sorry, Dash. I'm sorry, um, A-Wing Pilot and Mon Mothma. But these are my 10. So going backwards from what we have to look at. Luke Bespin, 1. Ariel Schuss, 2. Exar Kun, 3. Episode 1, Obi-Wan, 4. Episode 3, Anakin 5. Darth Malak, or Malak, 6. Crix Maidine, 7. C-3PO, 8. 2 one b 9. And this is the top of my list, whatever happens. The first Star Wars figure actually I ever had in my hand was an eight, is, is an Attack driver, I think. So there's, a, there's that nostalgic pull as well. Plus that car back is just awesome. The Attack driver, ladies and gentlemen... All day long would be my top of the list. So I'm going to put my list together, send it to Miko and all the boys or whatever, and then um, get involved as well. I'll leave a link in the description for the last figure standing. And join in, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Only One Kenobi, Only One. Out.